Daphne, how are you all doing? Thank you for your love and support. We really, really appreciate you. If today is the first time you are coming across us, or you are seeing this face for the first time, please do where to like our videos and share. In this platform, we react to our videos and your opinion is highly needed. So please sit back, watch this video carefully, drop your opinion in the comment section, and I'll be right back. I've seen Nam Dekanu most times he appeared in court in designer clothing, looking very nice and smart. But that's his. I'm sure they have, they, they have seen him. So that fear should be allayed somehow because we've actually seen him in, in, in his best when he appears in court. He never appeared as though he's been depressed or he's been oppressed or he's been maltreated. So he's, he's there facing justice. The challenges of him not uh, being, the, the decisions not being dispensed on time is generally a Nigerian problem. It is not uh, applicable to Kanu in this instance. We've seen cases that lingers in court and all of those things. That's why you see people have been clamoring for judicial reforms so we can actually have, you know, justice dispensed and dispensed on time. We know for now the, the wheel of justice grinds slowly. so. Because we are still in a system that affects everybody, not only in Namdekan in this case. We should just have to wait until we have that reform to make sure the, the judiciary is, 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 is allowed to do their job and at the time they will want to do their job. Recall that in that case, you've been seeing a lot of applications, you know, left, right and center. And that in itself would have also inhibited the, the speedy hearing of the case from the beginning. You would have seen some amendment of charges, both from the defense and the, and the, and the prosecuting counsel. We've seen application for bail and all whatnot. So those are the things that have inhibited the, the, the quick dispensation of justice regarding the Inam de Kanu case. But to say that uh, he should be released based on an advisory from the United Nations is something that I don't quite agree with Why as an that? individual. Because, you see, we, we have subjected, and of course, both parties have submitted to justice. Let us allow the will of justice to, 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 to take its course. The United, Nigeria is a sovereign nation, and we have our protocols, we have our laws. How much have the United Nations or whichever body that make that advice been able to advise uh, those uh, juntas in the Burkina Faso? Okay, I have you know, see. because these are the these are the human crimes. These are crimes that have been committed. How much of them have we heard of the the crisis in Ukraine? Mm. You know, being uh, unleashed by the Russian uh, authority. We have not seen their actions. They should come out clean to deal with those international concerns, and not the one that is being faced with the justice system. We have not heard that Nam Dikanu has been maltreated or had been dealt with in such a no, manner no, no, that no. it is not in tandem with our extant laws. What has but happened to Nam Dikanu is the process of justice that is going on. We saw in the Ukraine um, and, and those annexed territory where the the Putin uh, 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 regime will, will kangaroo in a way that Amana annex a region in trying to do a referendum lasting for a few hours and so on and so forth to you know to give justification to his uh, you know uh, unleash of terror against unarmed citizens of the Ukrainian people so we we should see more of the UN, UN advisory notes on those people and not on a situation where we have seen clearly that the Nigerian state is applying justice so that's 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 when, not you, when, when you say the continuous detention of <coughs> Namde Khan without due trial is application of justice, one begins to wonder. Nigeria is a signatory to a lot of UN protocols, and that's the grounds world on which the UN is saying follow the due protocols. If you're going to try him, try him. If you're not going to try him, let him go. And that has been the question in everyone's mind. No, but you are a Nigerian, isn't the Khan not being tried? The what process was have tried? You, I'm sure you have been following the news. I have been following the so, news. For uh, instance, you, you for say instance, he's not been tried. For, for instance, 
No, what particular? Today, today, they, demand, they, 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 they demand that Nnamdi Kanu should be released. No, that's should not he just, be released? Is it not no, through no, the process no, of justice? No, what, what particular hearing in Nnamdi Kanu's case has been made clearly that this is what the opposition is? Have you Nnamdi Kanu people been, open a defense to the accusations against him? What we of course, saying, Michael Zuckerman what, has, has been not, on this they case. They have not opened a defense. What they have done, has been I'm on not this a lawyer, case. but I, I have followed the proceedings. What they have always done is to make applications for his bail. And those, those are the things that is for about. bail and, is, and then that is, is also along the line of the process of judicial. That doesn't stop him from having a proper hearing. No, but, but there's something you will, you will. The, the, you some of these things takes precedence. But when you, when you, when a case is being heard, you, yeah. you take application. These are these are things that will take precedence. You will hear the application, and this is one and there will be a defense to one it. Year, more than more than uh, fifteen months counting. There's a, he has a hearing that we heard is not making an appearance for some time. I don't know if you're aware that he has been sick, said to be sick. His lawyer came out to say that the DSS are not providing him with the necessary drug he needs for his ailment. And that is another issue that is also of concern right now. So in this instance right now, like Ejimako would say, if the DSS cannot do what is needed to be done, why don't they allow them to step in to do the need for maybe buy the drugs for them? Because we are talking about Namdekano being in detention. If anything should go wrong with him while he's there. You be, you agree with me that we'll be looking at a different case altogether. Is is uh, 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 the barrister is Ekume, the doctor? We've heard some of these uh, rhetorics. Doctors, Hold on, I listen to you clearly. But we've heard most of these rhetorics before even the the, the, the the trial, so to speak, or the the he's been appeared the appearance in court that hey, Namdekan is dying. Hey, he's been oppressed under the SS uh, underground cell. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's been hanged. But when we saw the Namdekan in court, we saw him in the designer clothing. You keep talking Look, about designer no, clothing. No, that's what you say. When he was picked in Kenya, he wasn't in rags. No, he was. He wasn't in rag, but he was sustained in that condition. He was actually and in his personal clothes. That's his personal clothes. That is not, that is, you're sounding like designer. The federal government didn't give me designer clothes. That's his personal clothes. But, but he's actually living in large. He's even living, what, looking brighter. How, even do as live, how do you live large under detention? We've seen it. We've seen it. What did you see? What I'm saying in essence is that what people are talking about. I really love the quest, the reply of this our sister uh, to demand because how will you say that someone that is in detention is living well, living healthy, that the last time he checked whenever he see Mazina the Kano in the court that is looking smart, uh, strong and ever. Do you want him to go there and start belly that saying that he is so sick? He has the legal team, he has the lawyer that is speaking on his behalf as per that issue is consigned. And again, I see no reason why the dress that Mazenab the Kano put on now become a threat to a lot of people saying, oh, he's living life so largely. But we all every day see where politicians, the rich men in Nigeria, flew out of the country with private jets to do shopping for their children. Spesa. The other day, we see someone that left Nigeria to Europe just because of ice cream. He came to Europe to buy ice cream for the children with private jet and returned back. So tell me, Mazana Dekanu is not living in Nigeria. He's living in UK. He's a UK citizen. And such, he have the rights as well to go to wherever he wants to go to and to dress anywhere he wants to to buy clothes for himself because he's a leader of the indigenous people of Biafra or because he is, a, he is fighting for the freedom of his people. He should walk everywhere naked. So my wonderful family, you have seen the point already that he gave. I want to as well drop your opinion in the comment section and don't forget, share this video. Come on. It's that time we start explaining to people what they need to know and uh, we hopefully that the Nigeria government should obey the call of UN to release Mazen Abdekanu. Thank you so much and bye-bye.